Then there was the meeting a very few weeks ago in Canada between Joseph Biden and Justin Trudeau of Canada. Here's what they told us. And again, the ethics, the morals. They can't allow immigrants into their respective countries, they said. There's no room at the inn, it turns out, for the poor families from Guatemala and Honduras and Mexico and Costa Rica. No, no, no. They have to be kept out. And these two great leaders, they were figuring out how to do it. But we know, of course, what's really going on. These two great leaders, and greats in quotation marks, they're pandering to anti-immigrant feelings. That's the nicest way of putting it. And let's take a look at those, shall we? If you keep immigrants out, you're supposed to be believing that that keeps out low-wage, desperate people, which it does, and that they, therefore, will not be able to fill all those jobs, washing dishes, washing the cars, doing the poorest, lowest-paid work in the society. And there is some of that that happens if you keep out immigrants, because they start at the bottom, most of them. But you know, capitalism has a way of dealing with that. As wages go up because you've kept out the poor immigrant, you think nothing else changes? Don't be naive. Capitalists are very clear that the wages at the bottom in this country, if they go up, pose a problem for their profits. That's why they're so eager to pay immigrants low wages. That's why so eager to not pay the immigrant at all, knowing that the immigrant family is afraid to go to the police and complain, because then they might get looked at as immigrants and deported. So if wages go up because you've kept out the immigrants the way Biden and Trudeau are busily doing. Capitalists are going to see that as a problem. And you know what they do when the wages go up? They respond in one of two ways. They either move the job out of the United States. So instead of bringing the poor person here to work at a low wage, you move the job to where the poor person already lives, and then you can pay them the poor wage, can't you? And if that doesn't work, you replace the worker with wages going up by a machine, a computer, a robot, artificial intelligence. Capitalism treats workers that way. If you can't get the wage bill down by cheap immigrants, go to where the people who are poor already live or replace them with a machine. The problem isn't immigration. The problem is a system that works this way. And that's the message of this program, or tries to be.